Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clifton Lane and welcome to your third off. Can we have a big brother and welcome for our visitors from Chester? The third half this week is sponsored by Anne and Penny. So if Anne and Penny want to come down, so the way to... Oh, here's Anne. Did you see? Yeah, man. All right. So uh, what a great game of rugby played by two teams that went at it. Tooth and nail. And... Um, we got, we got, we got what we wanted. We, we needed a win this week, and, and we got it. So a big round of applause for the players of Rotherham Titans. So we have a few presentations to get through. So we'll get straight on with it. I'll ask the chairman of Rotherham Titans, Mr. Nick Cragg, is here this week. I'll ask Nick Cragg to come up and tell us about his choice for the Chester Man of the Match. Nick Cragg. Well, uh, that was a close call and a, a very, very good game. It was anybody's game when we started, it proved to be the case. Uh, Chester, for those that have been there, is a, a fabulous club, a fabulous rugby club. It's one of, uh, we've already been there a couple of times, I think. Uh, well, We've only been there officially once, but we ended up there twice, yeah. Uh, and um, it's held deep, deep, dear in our heart. In fact, it's a club that uh, our club actually sponsored. We sponsor their captain. That's how much we think of them. And, he actually, and it says in the program, uh, Rotherham's home from home. And nothing could be nearer to the truth, because we feel very much at home there. So uh, we're very pleased to see them. They've come en masse. It's the only time in the Valley Room that we've had more Chester people than we've had Rotherham people. Which is... So, um, my man of the match. I thought number two, Scott Robson, their hooker played very well, brought off just after half time. But uh, my man of the match was their 10, Liam Reeve, who did a tremendous job in holding them. So, Liam. No. First of all, can we say a massive thank you and congratulations to Ron. I think if we'd have turned up like that today against any other team in this league, we'd have got the five points. So yeah, big congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Um, just really quickly, after the game, I said to our lads, we are all obviously a bit disappointed, but I said, that's the reason we play rugby that. So we played well, we turned up, you guys turned up. There was our VPs, two, two buses here today, everyone there. Yeah. Uh, so loads of noise from the Rotherham fans, you know, the sheds in there were absolutely bouncing. So, yeah, that, that's the reason we play rugby, thoroughly enjoyed it. Shame it didn't go our way, but we've got to be one winner, isn't there? Well said. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was Moretti last year. <laughs> 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 he says, is it, is, it, is, it, is it a sign of recession? It was Moretti last year, now it's Carlin. <laughs> So, uh, the representative from Chester who's going to come up here is Dave Maloney.
nothing to do with refereeing whatsoever. Um, it was a tight game. Clearly it was a tight game. And I think we're disappointed, as, as Liam said. Uh, by the way, Liam's from Wigan. And uh, that's probably the most articulate you'll ever hear from anyone who comes from Wigan. And, uh, since you've been playing at Chester. That'd be lovely. Uh, in terms of your men on the match, well, I'm going to go a bit left of field, really. Um, there's a huge temptation to give it to Boyd, our, our, our boy, for, for the 27 penalties he kicked today. Well, you can fuck off. <laughs> I'm under a bit of pressure to put it onto your number seven, who was outstanding in the bench. But for me, as a scrum half, knowing all about this kind of thing, for me, the turning point of the game today was a scrum. And when you started putting the squeeze on, I think that changed the game. Therefore, your men of the match is your entire front row. Please. We're just trying to get a representative. It's captain over at the phone. Danny Rowland to score, you're all right. You're coming to you. David, you're coming to you. You're coming to you. Come on, Danny. Quickly, Danny. Big round of applause for Danny Rowland. So I don't know if you heard that, Danny, but uh, Chester have picked the entire front row as man of the match, so you're here as a representative. Do you want to say a few words? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Chester coming over. Yeah. Uh, look for the rest of the season. <laughs> That's a few words. Right, so Danny, you just want to get your beer off, and, and then we'll, we'll do the boat race. I'm not seasoned like you, Lloyd. Pop that down and then I'll give you this beer down. So I'll count down to three, two, one, go! Reeve, Reeve, we're singing the song. No. Right, so uh, I'm going to get director of rugby, Martin Jenkinson, up here now to say a few words about uh, the turnaround. Well, I should now be doing the uh, Player of the Month awards. Unfortunately, both for October and for November. Um, unfortunately, both the recipients have cleared off early. So we're going to save that for another day. What I do want to say is thank you to Chester coming over today. I'm safe journey home. All the best for the rest of the uh, season. It's a, a cracking rugby club that we've got to know in recent times. Enjoy the rest of the season. Uh, and, and we look forward to coming to you there. Um, with regard to the Rotherham supporters, thank you for what for us has been a difficult time. We've hit the skids a, a little bit. Um, if we can get a result next week, that'll be halfway through the season and we will have played 13, won 8, lost 5, which by our standards is not good enough. We know that's not good enough. It's not what we, we want to do. Um, and we're working hard trying to trying to correct it. Thank you, Chester. You're a great bunch. And we look forward to seeing you later. Thanks, Martin. So, next week away at Preston. Back here in two weeks' time for a, a big game against the Lionians, the Christmas game. Let's see loads of you down here. 
in the meantime, we've got plenty going off at the club. We've got the Christmas dinners. If you ain't already booked, get booked in for one of those. And then in January, we've got a cheese and wine night, and we've got a comedian, a very good comedian. Josh, Josh. Batteries dropped. Back up. Batteries gone. See you all in two weeks. Thank you.